Have you asked yourself, have you asked yourself what your addictions are? And I don't, re I don't necessarily only mean being addicted to, to um, cigarettes or alcohol and stuff like that. Personally, I didn't see myself as someone that had an addiction. But after reading the book, The Craving Mind, I realized that we all have that. And for your peace of mind and happiness, it's really essential that you're actually able to identify what those are. For example, that person you're so obsessed with, for example, that food you really need, um, you know, those likes that you, you have to have to stay happy in your life. And when you get them, you, you become super happy and it makes your day. Or, you know, those new sandals that I buy and really love. <laughs> that's, uh, that's real happiness. But, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, it's not the happiness that lasts. You kind of get this boost this kick and uh, that's great but uh, then you're on to the next the ne next kick so to find peace you actually have to find out what your addiction is and it can be more or less severe but you probably have an addiction uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, the way you can notice it is that you get these cravings for it. You need it. You, uh, I don't know what, you know, this person uh, or sex or food, this type of food, this type of thing that you, you really feel a need for. And uh, the solution to, to kind of fighting this, because... It's not going to help. It's not going to help you and you're not necessarily going to get what you want either by being so needy for what you want. So you actually have to handle it. And uh, surprise, surprise, the solution, uh, for, <laughs> the solution for you is actually to stay with the feeling. Just actually locating the the feeling in the body you can just follow the sensation because when you have an emotion it's actually affecting your autonomous nervous system so for like the the organs that you cannot control like the internal organs like your pulse and things like that if you get really excited for example your pulse will increase so you can feel it in your body when you're excited or you have a strong feeling so you need to kind of locate the, the feeling in your body. You can even point to where, the, where you can feel the feeling and stay with the feeling and just enjoy it. Because uh, if you can do that, it, it will pass. And that's the cure for you, actually. So... We have to find a way to be more present and in the now because uh, being in your happy, habitual state of mind is oftentimes not the real reality. It's why, the, it's why they are talking about polishing the mirror. Because your brain goes into this mode of habitual pat patterns of thinking, of ways that you think you think the world should be, or or that's the way you that's the way you think that the world is, and now that's how you're operating. So you have these autonomous responses and ways of thinking, and you're kind of lazy. It's painful for you to change your habitual thinking. It's more pleasurable to just stick with what you are used to so you kind of resisting seeing what really is and uh, that's going to get you into trouble uh, 
So it's better to face reality and see the world the way it is. I'm not saying that's easy. There are ways and methods to use. For example, meditation, getting out of your uh, thought stories that kind of going on all the time and your theories about how things work. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, these aren't uh, easy. This is this isn't easy. I mean, even to to look through, to kind of understand what you're addicted to, and handle it is. Uh, super hard but uh, you know if you want to be at peace you just have to do it you just have to do the hard work okay good luck <laughs>